What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the second gameplay video this weekend here on the War Robots test server, testing the brand new Ragnarok Robots pack, as you can see right here. In this episode, we're gonna have a detailed look at the tier robot, which is the supporting healer and also brawler at the same time. However, the stats say that it only, only runs 45 kph, and I can tell you that this is not correct. We're faster than a pursuer, and we almost run as fast as the 90 kph Loki robot in his stealth so some little mistake must have happened here because we're much faster than 45 with this tier robot now in order to explain to you the tier robot there's a lot of abilities and it's a little bit confusing okay I'm gonna go through it through with you guys one by one but first of all if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel guys and you like these explanations and you find yourself well informed uh, then please also consider subscribing uh, that would really help me a lot and also if you hit that notification bell now, right now, as you can see right here, this is the healing support mode. One mistake, I need to deactivate it and activate it again. Now we see the healing circle finally. So, see the healing circle heals me and my allies at the same time. And see this guy next to us runs 90. And we're almost keeping up with him. That means we're never 45. So this right here is the so-called support mode. We only have two medium weapons active at this time. The two light weapons are not running, right? We only have the two medium weapons and we're super fast. Now, the way we can do this here is we can deactivate the support mode that brings up the additional two light weapons, but it also deactivates the healing. We're no longer healing, but we have a physical shield on the robot now too. The physical shield uh, that uh, will block 120,000 damage at level 8. That's a lot of damage, by the way. Deactivating it again, and now we are healing up. See how we are healing? Can you see the healing in the upper left corner? We're uh, healing relatively fast. Unfortunately, though, taking down that Strider and that Hellburner at the same time has uh, taken, has cost us two weapons already. But he can't hit us here. And with this much speed, I can rush him now um, if I'm fast enough. Right? Uh, and try... Well, if I si walk sideways like this, he can't really hit me. I'm too fast. Maybe we can capture this beacon. That would be really cool. I'm trying to capture the beacon real quick. We have healed all the way now. And with this much speed, uh, Vortex and Aphid have a hard time hitting us. Now, he's jumping up now. That means he, the, the, he, I need my physical shield. So I deactivate the healing support mode. Bring up the additional light weapons and a physical shield that blocks a lot of damage. And I'm doing more damage to him now. I'm killed because he had more HP, uh, but I got the beacon and I held it for a little while, okay? So, running in again. Once again, we have, uh, you see when you spawn fresh, you don't see the healing circle. You need to deactivate the healing and then activate the healing again, and then it's properly shown. That's also a little bug. And by the way, the models of the robots are not yet finished. You see that there is no texture on the model, and you also don't see the physical shield. I now activated the physical shield, and we don't really see it very well. I think these are the kinds of things that will still be fixed. Uh, but so, let's run in. Two modes. Support mode with healing, more speed, but only two medium weapons. And then the assault mode, where we get two additional light weapons in addition to the two medium weapons. And the, we, can, uh, we can get a physical shield with 120,000 blocking damage. However, one problem, you walk slower. You are much slower. This is my m highest walking speed right now. So we're losing around half the speed that we had before is now gone. But we are so much more dangerous with our sh uh, physical shield and the built-in, um, uh, you know, and, and the, the additional two light weapons. So he just deactivated. This is the Loki robot in front of us. He's got this, the stealth ability. And uh, let's run in. Let's run in faster here with a healing mode. And I will also activate Quantum Raider module now so that I can target this guy here while he is in, in his stealth mode. But unfortunately, yep, he walks around the corner now. I'm deactivating once again here the assault mode and run around the corner very fast because I know they will be spawning there and they want me. They want me bad. Okay, so there is a uh, robot coming in, probably the Fenrir because it's a um, an Aegis shield. And you can drop the Aegis shield with your storm, for example, like I have here already around the corner. So, bringing out the physical shield, although in this case the physical shield doesn't really help me much because, um, you know, we have uh, no way of really using, uh, of, of, of using our physical shield here. Uh, but at least we were able to, um, 
you know, to uh, fire with the additional two light weapons. Okay, jumping in with a tier that has Tarans and Magnums. Okay, once again, running with super mad speed towards the enemy. And in my opinion, once again, this thing is too fast. But I think that Pixonic meant to make it slower. They meant to have it run at 45 kph. And they somehow maybe entered the wrong value and now it runs way too fast. It should, it should probably be a lot slower than you see it right now. Um, but yeah, so once again, I deactivate and activate the healing so I see the healing circle. It's working, the healing is working without it, but you see the en my friends over there are all very low on HP. I could go in there and heal. And they are also already healing themselves. And using two medium weapons at the same time and overall great mobility I can use here. And now we're in, now we're in and we're healing the entire friendly team here. Look at this. We're getting a lot of healing done right now. And uh, we can't see our own healing right now because we haven't taken any damage. Um, but um, we're definitely super fast and we can heal. And it, it heals the same way the Mender... Uh, no, sorry, the Wayland heals. The Wayland heals the same way with this healing circle and probably the same strength. But this, the Wayland cannot move while doing that, right? And this robot here will be able to move with even super ultra good speed, at least right now in the test server, and, uh, and still heal on the move. And that, that, that defeats the one problem that the Wayland has, the fact that you can heal on the move and you can keep with your teammates to keep them H, uh, their HP filling up, right? And this robot will be able to fire, run fast and heal at the same time. So testing this setup now. Mm, trying to stick with my team here so I don't get one on four uh, or three on one. That would be really bad. Alright, he's going to the left so I will follow to the left. And uh, try to help out here. Okay, we have two Coronas. With a little bit of luck, we may be able to lock somebody down. Unfortunately, that didn't work here. Uh, but you see, we have taken a few hits, but we have also counter healed the damage. Uh-oh, there is a little guy in front of us. I'm activating here the additional weapons and the qu Quantum Raider module. Uh, somehow, my weapons were deactivated again. I did not mean to do that, but happened anyways. And now he deactivates his weapon. My quantum radar is used, so it was difficult for us to, to target him. But here we go. Nice. Full damage done. And deactivating the assault mode, bringing up the healing, and healing my friend next to me, as you see right here. We're counter healing the damage that the uh, calamities over there do. So maybe we can attack. Let's go forward. Let's go forward and attack. We have a, gu a guy over in the, in the distance in their base. With super crazy speed, we run in. And I'm gonna try and make him lose his lock on by uh, walking around him real fast. All right, we're inside his shield, so he's got a hard time, um, you know, protecting himself. But I think he's got last stand right there. That's the only explanation as to why he was not dying so fast. Okay, activating the additional weapons and the physical shield. You know what? I'm an idiot. I should have activated the physical shield right there against the bulwark because that would have blocked all the damage coming in. Uh, by this calamity but I made a mistake and I stayed in the healing mode see I'm still making my own mistakes with this because this ability is a little bit complicated to uh, to fully use well and understand so let's run in heal our friends if possible and now bring up the physical shield with the additional weapons that's it that's what we're doing right now activating quantum radar so I can at least keep focusing somebody right there and once his, uh, this thing kicks in, his last stand, I may as well drop. Wow, a lot of firepower and a lot of enemies right there. Let's, from a distance, fire with four flamethrowers right here. That should be pretty good. These four flamethrowers should be very effective at the enemy. One of them is already dead. Activating Quantum Raider. Unfortunately, not very long because we have uh, already the reload coming, so... Quantum Raider completely worthless here. Reloading uh, triggered or stopped me from being effective there. But we got it. Nice. By the way, they have edited or changed the igniter. Uh, do you notice that the igniter now uh, has the same uh, fuel uh, use, uh, used as the, the, um, the little blaze? It was different in the beginning. In the beginning, it was so that the igniter had much more fuel and could fire for a longer time than uh, the blaze. But now it's the same. OK, 
Okay, I'm trying to walk away from these rockets that he's firing. Oh man, we have a lot of firepower coming in from the side here on the enemy. Uh, yeah, and there goes, there comes up his stealth. Activating Quantum Raider so I can finish him off. And flame over there too. A locked down Raker, that's pretty cool. And with the physical shield we're even blocking some decent damage. So I hope I was able to make you guys understand the ability and how it runs, okay? Physical shield with no healing but four weapons in the assault mode. And uh, no physical shield but healing with only two weapons in the, um, in the support mode. Okay, that's how it works. Activating all four weapons because I'm behind the enemy, right? May as well. When the enemy is behind me, I may as well just use all the weapons I have. Okay, here here comes here comes a problem. The Ares is coming in. So activating everything I've got right here. And trying to shoot down this Ares while I can. Because he just used his shield. And I can also corner shoot a little bit. I also have the physical shield right now currently running. But the physical shield is already broken, it seems, yeah. We've already lost it. And the enemy is completely focusing all their per people on one spot. So I'm, I'm spawning in a little bit further behind so that I don't get immediately taken on by the entire team right there. It would be good if that Ares had used his, um, his shield. There it is. There's the shield use. Okay. Activating the additional weapons here in a second now. Assault mode active. And now that his shield drops, we come in from behind and kill him. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. So. Uh oh, we have enemies coming in from here. Uh oh, and we have an Ares coming in too. I need to lock down that Ares if possible. As soon as, he, as possible. Yeah, he's locked down. Nice. So now we can eliminate him. And then deactivate this mode and heal back up. Whoa! In the upper left corner, you can see how much we're healing. It's quite good. The healing is quite effective. So he's hitting us very well. And I can't walk up this ramp. I'm trying to walk up this ramp. It doesn't work. This ramp cannot be walked with this robot. Look, I'm trying to walk up this ramp and it doesn't really work. No, I can't. It just does the, the wiggling stuff here. I don't know what's going on, but this is a little bit frustrating that I cannot walk up this ramp. All right, let's walk away here. I'm trying to get to the left, but somebody is, keeps blocking me. This guy, he just kept blocking me until I was almost dead. Okay, back healing. Whew. Healing him and healing, uh, heal, heal, healing everybody. Everyone around us is being healed right now, even behind the wall. And we can still run with good speed and two medium weapons in this support mode. The only thing we don't have is a physical shield. Yeah, see, I can't walk up here. It just doesn't work. Okay, here we go, and... No, I need the I need the physical shield here. From him. Uh-oh. My last stand is active. The physical shield has been protecting me a little bit, but I think it's already destroyed. Oh boy, am I correct with the physical shield or am I forgetting something? Hold on. Uh, the tier has a physical shield. Yeah, the tier has it. Okay, just so that I don't make any mistake here. Here, this guy, for example, he's shooting plasma. So I may as well bring in the physical shield now so I can block it all. See? he's No, wait a minute. I'm not blocking it. Okay, I bring down the thing. Do I have it now? No, I also now have no physical shield. I bring it back up. I don't understand. The physical shield isn't working, it seems. Uh, so the robot is too fast and the physical shield is not existent. Th those are the problems that we have on this robot right now. Uh, and it seems like it's not yet fully designed or finished. But yeah, so let's have one more match, guys. Just one more battle run in. And I need to reread the description because I'm getting here. The tier. Shapeshift, tier switches mode, 140,000 HP at level 8. Support mode, 2 medium weapon slots and 45 kph and repair. 45 right now is around 70. And in the healing mode or support mode, we do not have a physical shield. In the assault mode, we have 2 medium and 2 light weapons, only 35 kph, but a physical shield that blocks 120,000 damage um, 
of, uh, of plasma weapons or also kinetic weapons. Interesting, because that physical shield has definitely not worked. Right now, I tested it against the, uh, the, um, the Redeemer. Uh, I tested both modes and none of them had a physical shield working. So I can only assume that the physical shield isn't yet fully implemented into the robot, but it will have one so that if you're in the, in the assault mode, you're going to really pack a punch with your four weapons and you're also going to be able to uh, not take unnecessary damage from plasma weapons. Activating Quantum Raider here. Okay, and firing at this guy at short range and trying to do as much damage as we can in this short time uh, to, to hopefully kill him. Okay, he's got he's got his his stealth mode active and uh, there comes the weapon here But there's a delay you see this there's a delay you can't kill him in time when he comes up uh, Because somehow uh, This delay will force you to uh, to not be able to target him So also another problem right here in the in the test server that this little robot has a delay at which you can target He brings up his weapons and it takes a good two seconds until you can finally target him Activating quantum radar here So and the additional weapons are already shooting I'm trying to kill him even without seeing him Is he bringing up his weapons there it is yep weapons are coming up and Hopefully we're gonna get him. Oh, uh, no The delay between the activation is the problem here. All right jumping in with a shotgun brawler Activating Quantum Raider again, the only way to really attack these guys very effectively and take him out. But of course when they have last stand, it's it's difficult because you have your Quantum Raider running away. Your Quantum Raider is gone and you can't kill the guy because of the fact that he's got the last stand. Okay, this guy, come on, get killed. I can't kill him even though I don't see him right now. I just shoot him at him. Where's the Ares? Oh, he ran away, okay. He wants to have that shield again. But we are only using the two light weapons, two, uh, two medium weapons right now in the healing mode. I'm running fast, not using... If I could run into his shield, that would be really cool. Okay, there comes his ability. I'm running away from him so he doesn't get me. Uh, he's not even following us. Come on, get killed. Get killed, sir. With your 50% damage resistance, stop healing. It's like a falcon, dude. All right, here, all weapons activated, physical shield activated, and finally we were able to kill that that sucker. <laughs> and from above, all good things come from above. You guys know that, right? Unfortunately, we can't kill him right there, but we can damage him. We are shoot on top of his head, and now him too. Wow, look at the damage he's taken. Unfortunately, though, he had last stand. And he also has last stand. So I'm activating the healing mode and running in. Wait a minute, I'm first gonna try and defeat him, if possible. His resistance mode is currently running, so it's hard to kill him in time. Come on, one more shot. There it is, okay. And now from within this shield, from within the shield we can kill him too. Nice. And we heal up at the same time. Not only us, but also here the Komiho. Whew! Eight to nine. This is a crazy match we're having right now, guys. We need to let them come around the corner. So I need the physical shield against this calamity, but the problem, as you as you have seen before, is that the physical shield, you see, we take immediately damage. There is no physical shield running. Now, I would like to spawn here, next to these guys, but they're already waiting for it. So this would probably be the wrong, um, wrong time to spawn here. I'm waiting for them to orientate themselves somewhere else, and then I jump in. Okay, here we go. Activating the physical shield or the supposed supposed physical shield, which we don't have for some reason. And uh, once again, having the problem that the entire three, all three guys, and he's got last stand too. I thought I may have activated last stand before, but of course not. Okay, here we go with Quantum Raider, getting this guy, and now firing at him. And yeah, there is no physical shield. There, just, there is no physical shield. You can tell me whatever the heck you want. There is no physical shield. The first plasma shot already just did damage to us. We were supposed to block 120,000 damage at level 8 with this physical shield. And we blocked absolute zero. So the physical shield isn't there. But it's going to be there once uh, the thing is going to be f is fully developed. 
Okay, activating here the um, assault mode to deal the full damage. So right now the healing support mode is actually better than uh, than the assault mode because even though you have less weapons, you're going to counter heal a lot of damage, and uh, and that makes a, a lot of difference. So and you're running too. You're running much faster in the healing mode. You can dodge all vortex no problem, and yeah, nobody really has a chance. And once again, it's the entire team here. I don't understand why my team isn't spawning here. This is so, such an advantage if you spawn on the enemy. But um, they're not. They're just all... So I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to come in from here. So let's get this Mercury killed, who had last stand before, which is was I, why I couldn't kill him. Uh, but on this test server, everybody has last stand, obviously, since it's free. And it makes your robot 50% more powerful to have last stand. So, who, who doesn't have it? Nobody has it, not. It would be very illogical not to have last stand running on this thing. So, once again, fighting four, three people alone. Now it's almost four because there's somebody coming in from behind. But we've got him and he activated our last stand. We're, we're locked down. Uh, now we're dealing lots of damage to this guy. But last stand, of course. Okay, running faster, trying to run away, trying to regenerate some of my HP. Because, uh, yeah, too many enemies. Okay, we're counter healing each other. We're healing, he heals me and I'm healing him. That's interesting. The last robot that I have right now, we're gonna lose this one here pretty hard. He just activated his shield, so I may as well just use my two additional weapons too because we're fully healed right there's no reason not to use the additional light weapon now when we're fully healed anyways and now bringing up the healing maybe I can make him lose his lock on by running past him like this yep there it is his lock on is lost but unfortunately I got no chance they're following me <laughs> and I'm so squished in this corner yeah, so that was my last robot, ladies and gentlemen, and that was the tier robot here on the test server. It is quite a bit confusing to run it, but in time people will learn to run it, right? And when the physical sheet is finally there, then I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that um, it's going to be a much better uh, robot because the, f the assault mode will actually make a lot of sense then with the physical shield active. Right now it's not. But yeah, let's leave it like that, guys. Tell me what you think about the tier robot, and I'll just say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for bearing with me. you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off